So I have done close to 3,000 reaction videos at this point. I think the number is 2,691, <laughs> which is just absurd. But uh, I actually lied in the title. It's not one thing. It, it is a multi. I'm going to give you a couple tips. But the biggest tip, the biggest, biggest, biggest tip, and then we'll go into a couple other tips. The biggest tip that I have is to actually enjoy the stuff that you do because that is it's sustainable if you're gonna do reaction style videos as a part of your content you have to you have to enjoy the videos you're doing because otherwise like I said it's just not sustainable even if some videos do really well or some artists perform really well if you don't align yourself with one the values of the artist or two the if you don't like it, it it's not gonna it, you're gonna that's how you're gonna burn out there's only so many times that you can do like a, a video that you're like, oh, I really don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. And you force yourself to do it. You're going to burn out. If you have the mentality of, I, I can't wait to do this. I'm excited to hear this song. I'm looking forward to this. Then it's going to be way more sustainable. You can put out a lot more content. And, and it's going to show through in the content that you're not just there because you feel like you, you, you want the views. And people can see that. It's more people are going to be like, wow, you actually really like the artist. Thank you for actually supporting the artist. So if you notice, there's only a handful of artists, maybe 10 to 15. I'm trying to definitely, like probably closer to 10. But I'm trying to expand it a little bit. But there's only a handful of artists that I really do every release that they do. Because I actually really like the music now part of it is they do well and i like the music that's the beautiful marriage between the two because there's plenty of artists that i really enjoy that their videos just don't do well on the channel so it's like it, it to some degree there being that it is my job i have to find that balance of look okay like yeah i do enjoy that one but like it's not going to do that well versus okay i actually enjoy this one and i know it'll do well that's the beautiful marriage between the two the hard part is the, the temptation of wow, this video did really well. You try it, and then you the the comment section. Some 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 artists' comment sections are brutal, and honestly, it makes you not want to do the artist. There's plenty of artists that I've done on the channel that I'm like, the comment sections just really upsets me or frustrates me, where they're rude or they don't they thought I didn't pay attention to the artist enough or the comments or whatever the case is. It's like all right, fine, like. I don't owe them anything. I'm not just going to continue to do the artist. Like, you know, so it's, it's, it's the biggest, biggest thing that I could recommend is just to find videos that you actually enjoy and would look forward to doing. Cause that's the only thing, honestly, that's any tip for YouTube. That is any tip for you to make content that you actually enjoy making that not just that you're hopping on a trend of, because if you actually enjoy it, you will be able to sustain yourself in anything. Maybe I'll turn that into a different video as well. But we're talking reaction style videos because I've, I've done a bunch of them as part of the content that I do here on my channel. Now, um, and also, also this is important too. If it doesn't do well, especially when you're starting off, because my like, I enjoy doing vlogs on my channel, but they don't necessarily do as well. But I enjoy them. They're important to me. I enjoy them, so I'm able to do it. If I didn't enjoy it and it, and it, and it didn't do well, like then I wouldn't. It wouldn't be sustainable, right? Like I said, you can only push yourself for so long. The second tip that I have that I want to mention is um, to, this is super important, to not just chase the views. And like I said, like I said it kind of it piggybacks off to one, the, 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 um, the first one, but not to chase the views and especially not to chase the uh, followers. Do not, the biggest thing is don't, I don't like setting like, like goals like, oh, you know, let's try to hit 200,000 by the end of this year. I don't like that because what will happen is that all that will lead me to do is is make decisions based on subscriber counts not based on my happiness and if or the quality of the content or the the relationship that i have with the subscribers because if that's my end goal is just to increase that number then well the the idea of doing an artist that i don't like but i know will get the views and the subscribers becomes a lot more enticing than if i just say you know i'm grateful for what i have let's continue to try to grow the channel at whatever rate it grows at is a lot more sustainable so i wanted to keep this this video brief and short but those are two massive tips that i would recommend that i really try to live by here on the channel is to enjoy the content you put out and then also not to look at the numbers as much um and even the third one, a little quick third one, um, is to I would recommend to look at the analytics, but don't live by the analytics. Learn from them, but don't live by them. That's actually 
That should be a quote, man. Live, uh, learn from the analytics, but don't live from them. What I mean by that is like, okay, this artist did well, this one didn't do well, this video did well, but up until this point, this video did well in this area, in this country, this de video did well with this demographic, this video didn't do well, but it still paid well, or this video didn't do well, but the comment section was amazing, right? So learn from them, but don't live by them. Be like, oh my gosh, I'm a failure if this video didn't do well. There's so many different factors. YouTube doesn't make sense sometimes. Some some videos that I'm like, this is gonna do really well, don't do well. And some videos I'm like, this is a dumb video, it does really well. So you're never gonna be able to anticipate it, <laughs> but just continue to put out. Consistency is key, it is the most important part of anything, including making videos. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Whether that be once a week for you, whether it be once a day for you, whether it be once a month for you, whether it be 10 times a day, just stay consistent. Hope that helps and I'll see you in the next video. God bless and peace out.